Labs Radiophonic One. And now we're going to do something that uh, is a little bit different for me. I've never really uh, focused on this. If you've ever seen one of my videos, you know that uh, after <laughs> a decade or more of describing the functionality of the envelope generator, which used to be a thing that people really didn't understand, so it was really helpful, these days I sort of breathe, breeze through envelope generators. But this one I can't because it is simply too powerful and does things that envelope generators never ever do. It's uh, it's a multiplicity of envelope generators all in one, and it's really kind of staggeringly, um, yeah. So <laughs> let's just go through it. Okay, just a few simple things right now. I have the V trigger input coming from the Arturia key step. So that's what is triggering the, the envelope generator. And I have the output, the envelope A output, going to actually both the frequency of the dot VCO module and uh, the amplitude in the dot VCA module. This way, I'm going to portray the shapes of these envelopes. You're gonna hear them not only in amplitude, which is less easy to hear, but also in frequency, which is more easy to hear. So uh, we'll just get a little portrayal of all of the different shapes that this thing is capable of. I wanna be clear, and we're gonna talk about this later, obviously, there are two outputs to this. So, and they, they're they not outputs of the same output. Uh, they're each <laughs> setting has basically two different possibilities depending on the output output you've chosen. And we're gonna talk about that. So let's get into this uh, right now. Right now we have it set to ADSR, which you'll all know is a tactic case sustained release. And uh, this is a more typical setup and it's arranged in a way, I don't know <laughs> how, how immediately you can call up a 911, a Moog 911 module in your mind. But uh, Bob Moog basically described the envelope in sets of time and then um, a level. So we kind of have that same thing going on. These sliders are time one, time two, time three, time four, and then E, which is the level of the output. We'll talk about curve in a bit. So when we're in ADSR mode, uh, we're in ADSR model, I guess that's, uh, it says model. So yeah, we're kind of in 911 mode here. Output A, which we're set to, you can see there's a legend here that actually tells you ADSR, what these are. Output A, this first slider is a delay, the second slider is attack, third is decay, fourth is release, and then E is sustain. So if we want to do a typical just standard ADSR envelope, what we would do is, let's just uh, give it an attack. Now, as you've probably already noticed, the lights are telling us where we are in each stage of the envelope. So it's really, really convenient. You can really follow what is happening just by watching the lights. So we got amplitude that is demonstrating what this envelope is doing. We have frequency, which demons, which is demonstrating what this envelope is doing. And also these lights are showing us where we're at. You'll notice I let go. We don't have any sustain happening. So if I held the note, it would just go, the decay would take it all the way to zero. So I let go of it so we could go into a release mode. Here, I'll do that again. I didn't cut it that time. Anyway, but we can also add uh, sustain. So as you can see, we went through the attack, the decay, and then the decay went down to the sustain level as it does. And then we just hung there at the sustain level until I let go of the key. And then we could see what was happening in the release level. Uh, which, I, in addition to being, you know, just a really helpful envelope generator structure, it really teaches us uh, what's happening. And, of course, in the midst of, say, a complex mix, if you were using the Radiophonic 
uh, one with a number of other things, or if you just were using this envelope gener generator module, uh, you'd be able to see where you're at at any given time. Now, the first slider is a delay. So, oh, it's quite a delay. <laughs> So yeah, the first slider is a delay. Then we have the traditional 911 ADSR. Uh, the last slider is curve. So right now we have it on linear. So basically, if you're not familiar with this, it means that the lines between the stages, the voltage changes between the stages are steady. If we slide this up to exponential, then they follow an exponential curve. Let's turn that delay down a little bit, shall we? So uh, in that exponential curve, you know that uh, it starts slow and then gets faster and faster and faster as it goes. So it's not a steady delineation. It's not a steady change over time. It's slower at first and then faster later following what an exponential curve looks like, uh, which allows you, again, a lot of different sounds. And this slider allows you to be kind of somewhere between them. So you can really get a bunch of different curve shapes uh, between stages. Now it is somewhat a subtle effect and there are certainly situations where it becomes more evident. But it's really cool. You might also notice that we have a time button over here and we have this is at times one, which is just standard time. We could also have it take a lot longer by putting it times 10. Ten times as long, or something. Okay, now we're on sustain, so I'll release, and we'll get. I will re <laughs> release my finger, and we'll get to the release stage, and it will take a long time. Okay, um, I think we've adequately <laughs> demonstrated that. If we have this set to sync, like we do, uh, the SCG Sound Labs modules have the ability to be controlled via DIN sync which uh, these cases are basically set up to take or will be set up to take. I'm not sure if they currently are um, because I don't have any sort of <laughs> means of achieving that synchronization. But when you have this set to sync, it will actually sync up the stages to the, the music, the tempo that you're inputting, the synchronization that you're inputting. So it makes it uh, a much more metric thing that can be used rhythmically uh, to great success. I have seen demonstrations. It's uh, really something. Uh, and of course, times 0.1 is a lot faster than one. So um, let us ever also, <laughs> I'm covering all the, the stuff that uh, I, I, I don't know the permutations later. So I'm just doing it in ADSR because ADSR is what I'm used to as a person who has not experienced some of these other uh, envelope functionalities that we're about to explore. So uh, we have this on hold mode, which is kind of the one that, uh, as far as I can tell, is the one that contains sustain. We can also put it in trigger. <laughs> where we don't have the sustain level uh, in, in part of it. So it just goes through its thing and that's it. Once triggered, it just goes through the envelope is what I'm trying to say, which is great for things like drums where they always have sort of the same shape and you're not gonna be holding one longer than the other and whatever. Now we're going to get to uh, a functionality. We are kind of still in Moog mode here, but uh, there is a free run envelope, which is kind of a Buchla thing, really. Mm -hmm. 
And so now it's just going to operate. It's just going to cycle through the, the envelope six, uh, consecutively. So <laughs> this is an envelope loop. So in doing this, the shorter times you give each of these stages, the faster the loop's going to go, which probably is really evident. But if you want to control it, you also can have a short, uh, you can have short times in the stages and then control how quickly that those times are triggered by the, this delay at the beginning. So if you wanted to do something like what I was just doing with uh, my hand with voltage control, of course, um, I'm going to do a weird sort of sideways leap here and go over to the E in where you can voltage control these stages. Right now I'm voltage controlling the E stage, which... Uh, Basically, we're hearing the E stage at a variety of different uh, voltages, which gives us these different sounds. Of course, we could be doing this with any of them. And if you wanted to voltage control the curvature, so you get different curve output uh, between the stages as they're going through, you can certainly voltage control that as well. How? Uh, bass drum. Um, so you might wonder what gated run is. Gated run requires you to have a trigger coming in with a gate. And as long as a gate is present, it will loop. So I'm holding down a key right now if you can't see. No, you can't see. <laughs> 